Okay friends, I'm going to show you how to disassemble the brakes on the front of a Honda on this Prelude. And actually this is very common brake setup on a lot of Hondas, so it's pretty simple. What you'll need is a 14 millimeter to remove the two caliper bolts. But since we are replacing calipers, the first thing I'm going to take loose is this brake line. Okay, It's actually a 14 millimeter headed banjo nut as well. So we're going to break it loose. And these calipers are going to be off of here for a little bit. So what I want to do is try to keep all the fluid from leaking out of the master cylinder. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this banjo off of here. You see how the banjo fitting is made. I'm going to take a piece of 5 8 heater hose and just shove up over the end of this banjo. And then I got a pair of uh, vice grips here that are great for doing like sheet metal work and stuff. And I'm just going to go ahead and clamp, clamp that rubber hose just like so. And hopefully that'll stop all my brake fluid from leaking from the master cylinder while I'm working on it. And you can just kind of leave it there and kind of check. It looks like it's stopped dripping now. So we will just kind of let that hang over out of the way. Take our 14 millimeter swivel socket. We'll put it on these caliper bolts here. Go ahead and break these loose. Turn them out. And uh, we'll get the top one. Do it the same way. Okay. <clears throat> now we're just going to pull our caliper off here. And we're just going to lay it down in, in our little drip pan here and let that drain on out. There'll be a core charge on those uh, calipers, so we'll have to send those back. Hey friends, we're getting ready to just put the uh, last coat of uh, red paint on the rim of these uh, rotors here. And uh, a little template trick here is working out pretty good. And uh, we're just going to add one more little coat here on this one. And then we'll just move our template, just simply lift it up, put it on the next rotor. And this is our last one that we need to do. Third coat going on. You see how easy this worked out? Wasn't too much trouble. Okay. Now we'll get this, we'll let this sit up and cure a little bit, and we'll go ahead and get these calipers out here and get them painted. Okay, too. now what we have to do is go and take this caliper bracket off. Because as you've seen before, we're going to repaint painting the calipers and the hubs and everything. And we didn't get new caliper brackets, so we're gonna to have to clean some of this rust off of here, and we're actually gonna paint these up nice and red too. So take a 17 millimeter uh, half inch drive socket on a swivel. So it seems to work the best and you got two caliper bolts and we're just going to zip them out there's one and here's the other one okay and now we can go ahead and just remove our caliper bracket with pads we're going to take these old pads out of here we'll take these old shims out of here we've got new pins and hardware and everything but we'll clean them up real good and get them painted red and for our rotor, we've already taken the little uh, Phillips head locking uh, screws out of, out of the way. So we can go ahead and just go ahead and pull our rotor off. We'll be putting brand okay, new brakes Okay, we've got all our calipers laid out here. We've got them wiped down with some brake clean, ready to paint. Our front caliper brackets, we didn't get new ones. So we wire brushed these up and then we washed them in some uh, uh, soap and water and dried them off real good. Took a little bit of masking tape mask up around our little rubber boots and our slide pins on all the caliper brackets and we've got our red paint here we're going to go ahead and put a couple coats on all these parts and uh we'll show you what they look like when they're done okay folks hey we got these things painted we got about three coats of paint on all of our calipers and caliper brackets and everything's looking pretty good we're going to let this stuff cure up today and we will get everything reassembled tomorrow and we'll show you what okay, it looks like we'll when we're done. And put back uh, this side of the brakes here after we've got all our parts painted and they've sat overnight. We're going to go ahead and stick our new rotors on here. Okay. And 
we got our little Phillips head screws here that will uh, hold our rotor into place while we are assembling everything. So let's go ahead and just put these two screws in right quick. Okay. ahead and uh, move on to our caliper bracket folks I tell you what a lot of times these are hard to get out you got to use an impact driver to uh, remove them I never impact them back on here because I try to think that the next guy might uh, like it if I didn't so I just usually just tighten them up with the number three Phillips head uh, just normal tightness there as fine as tight as you can get it with that and that's good because basically all the rotor does is just hold the rotor to the hub you know during assembly and that's basically it okay so now we're ready to, to go ahead and install our caliper bracket folks what we've already done we had some brand new boots that come with these uh, caliper pins and we already uh, installed them we lubricated our caliper pins up with some 3m silicone grease so we've got those moving nice and freely put our brand new uh, spring steel clips into place on the caliper bracket and we've got our brake pads in it. These brake pads here are a Wagner uh, pad. This is a real good aftermarket pad. Probably about the best one that you're going to get on the aftermarket. Uh, I like these as well as the uh, adaptive ones that Napa makes. Those are pretty good. But these are cool because they actually have brake lining material here on the outside edge. So it takes up the place of the shim. You no longer need the shims anymore. The pad material actually is like uh, pressed on both sides of the uh, pad. So it light like comes through and gives you a pad surface on the back of here. Anyway, they're real good pads, nice and quiet. So we're gonna go ahead and install these. We've got our two caliper bolts here. We uh, lubed them up with a little bit of uh, gold uh, anti-seize. So we're gonna go ahead and put this into place. Get our bolt started. Can. Okay, that feels pretty good there. And this definitely is going to give a nice look on this car with all these uh, brake parts painted up real nice. I hope this holds up well. It's a high temperature uh, engine paint so it should withstand couple thousand degrees I would think a lot of that paint I've seen before is up to a couple thousand so now we've got our bolt started by hand we have a uh, 3 8 long ratchet with a 17 millimeter socket on the end of it we'll go ahead and just ratchet these down okay that was feeling pretty good Folks, there is a specification for any bolt on a car. You can look it up if you like. I've been in the business long enough. I kind of have a pretty good feel for how tight to tighten up the caliper bracket. That feels pretty good right there. Go back and double check this one. Okay. We're good there. We're going to go ahead and uh, grab our brand new caliper. Now for our installed. brake caliper, okay? We've got this thing ready to go on. Installed a brand new uh, spring clip here in the upper side of the caliper that comes with the kit. This just puts a little bit of pressure on the brake pads when it's installed. Keeps the pads from rattling around. So let's go ahead and install our new caliper. And we have our two new <clears throat> caliper bolts here that we lubed up with a little bit of the uh, gold anti-seize as well and we'll go ahead and get these started this is going to look really nice I think I'm going to take a picture of this and text it to my customer right now so he can see what this is going to look like Okay, and now with a uh, 14 millimeter socket on your 3 8 
extension. We will tighten these bad boys up. Now I'll go ahead and finish tightening these up and uh, and we will be set to go. The next thing that we'll do, we'll actually uh, hook our brake line back up and we'll probably use our little tool for actually crimping off the line so we don't lose so much fluid. And we will get this hooked up and when we get all four of them hooked up, we'll be ready to uh, bleed out the brakes. Friends, I wanna thank you for watching a little uh, brake video on Honda today. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Take care.